Hello and welcome to our latest video. Uh, so we have, uh, as, as you can fairly understand from the opening shot, that we have started working on the diorama. Now, um, before I get into uh, the details of the construction of the diorama, so uh, some, some quick background. So we have made uh, the base of the diorama 31 inches long and 15 inches wide. Now, we made uh, three different types of experiments on these three tiles. Uh, this one is uh, three colors of um, acrylic paints painted on the board first and then we used uh, the water gel. Uh, so this turned out from, from water effect perspective turned out to be um, the best. Uh, this one here uh, we used similar methods uh, like this one we painted uh, the tile uh, before but we tried using tinted water and as you can see it definitely didn't turn out to be uh, very good and uh, uh, this uh, this one uh, is the, you know we, we had basically the same result on these two because we tried using tinted water on both of them uh, however we did some other experiment on on these uh, pieces of tiles so as you can see uh, to do the beach scene, we uh, wanted to see how uh, we use different materials and how they turn out. So uh, this one here, uh, it's basically a pre-painted uh, acrylic sand uh, gel uh, texture. So, uh, and what we have done here is that we tried sprinkling real sand on top of it and see uh, how it looks. So uh, with, with, with a figure, one is to 72, uh, a scale figure uh, right on the beach you can pretty much realize that real sand is definitely way too big uh, for for uh, 1 is to 72 scale uh, diorama so uh, real sand is definitely out of the question now what we did in this one we tried mixing real sand with the um, acrylic uh, sand uh, texture gel uh, the result is a little better uh, than using actual sand and we actually uh, used a little uh, refined or, or uh, you know smaller granules of uh, real sand here. So the result is a little better but um, not necessarily uh, very very good. We still have and I'll just place uh, the figure again uh, for comparison here. Uh, we still have a decent degree of size variations here as you can see right so again for 1 to 72 this doesn't really uh, it's, it's better than uh, sand but not not really that good so coming to the other side so we this is uh, the final uh, experiment on sand so this is just the um, acrylic uh, sand texture uh, you know uh, gel uh, we uh, applied it before without coloring it and then painted it and this as you can see uh, clearly turned out to be uh, the you know uh, the, the best way to do it and that's exactly how we are going to handle this uh, in this diorama okay so this is uh, you know the cutout to make the ship sit uh, we will of course uh, model water all around it. Um, so uh, the next step definitely is, uh, and before that, let me just put the ship back in its place, uh, you know, for our schematic. Well, now I have uh, the ship back in place. So um, the last couple of things that I just wanted to show you are uh, these uh, landscape boundaries um, that I've made uh, using the same material that I used to create the. Uh, base board for this diorama, so that's basically PVC board. So uh, the, the the scene that I have in mind is that this is uh, this this side of it uh, basically is bigger landmass uh, on this particular uh, uh, diorama. This is where uh, we will see some of the figures, uh, Blackbeard, and you know some of his associates trying to bury uh, uh, their treasure, uh, and and more about the history later. Um, and um, this is uh, where uh, we will have a smaller uh, landmass, basically just uh, some scenic uh, material, and we will have 
a very narrow channel um, going through it with uh, with a tree uh, with with one of the uh, palm trees uh, you know uh, going over that uh, exactly exactly like this so that basically is at, at uh, you know what, what I have in mind and let's see how this this whole thing turns out